Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna talk about how to use mulch for healthier plants. But first, be sure to show us some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also, check out our sponsors, Robert Bergman's ILGM and Mars Hydro for all your cannabis needs. Mulch is something I haven't really talked about in the video before, so I figured, you know what, why not just make one? You see people putting mulch in flower beds, under trees, trees and in vegetable gardens, but your plants will definitely benefit from mulching. Mulching will help insulate your soil so you can cut down on your watering, but also helps feed your plants. I'd mostly recommend mulching if you're doing more outdoor grows. I feel like you don't need to mulch if you're growing inside. I mean, but you could, depending on why you'd need to mulch indoors in the first place. So if you're in a northeast or much colder climates where you have shorter summers and you like growing outdoors, mulching will definitely provide you with better insulation so it can handle a lot colder temperatures. Temperatures. Act almost like a blanket to help keep your roots warm and slow down the evaporation, which is why I said you don't need to water as frequently. Mulch will also help your soil quality, allowing for better air and water movement around your roots. And also, as organic mulch decomposes, it delivers nutrients to your soil and supports the growth of healthy microbes that improve the quality of your soil, while at the same time protecting your plants against pests. Now, I remember an outdoor grow that I did a few years ago. Some of you guys might actually remember the lemon drink. This was like maybe two or three years ago. Well, we had weeds start growing out of the soil randomly, but if you're mulching, it helps prevent weeds from growing. And if they do end up growing, you know, they're pretty easy to pull out anyway. So this is also another plus for the outdoor grower. Obviously, weeds isn't something you really have to worry about if you're growing indoors. I mean, at least I never had that problem growing indoors. Mulch also slows down soil erosion, so your soil will be healthier longer. And of course, this goes for the outdoor grower. Now, here's the question you guys might be asking. What kind of mulch is best for cannabis. You could use wood chips, shredded tree bark, you can use grass clippings, you can take your dry leaves and shred them and top dress your soil. You could use straw, newspaper, your garden clippings, all that stuff is going to be good for your soil and your roots. I know you've seen some of the leaves that I cut down and just kind of left in the soil. There, there really is no harm in that. Also, if you're lacking nitrogen, grass clippings would be great. When your grass clippings break down, they deliver nitrogen to your soil, but the only thing that kind of sucks is it will attract some other bugs and insects into your garden. But if you're using stuff like microbe lift, you know, you'll be good to go. I know you guys are like, straw, seriously? <laughs> now hang on a sec. Straw is actually gonna be good if you're trying to insulate your soil against colder temperatures and you might get some spiders, but you know what? They'll keep stuff like ants and mites away. They'll be like your can of soldiers. Now, I don't remember, but someone in the comments section a long time ago, I don't even remember when it was. I think it was maybe even like a year ago, but I still remember it. Said leaving dry leaves in your soil was bad, but here's the thing. Dry leaves is probably the best thing you could throw on your soil. They're great for insulation. They'll improve the aeration of your topsoil, and they do a killer job preventing water evaporation and dry leaves are free you can't be free right I mean you know this is all good stuff now guys even though I did say mulching is for outdoors it doesn't necessarily mean you can't mulch indoors for example remember I was saying that you know it's 63 degrees in our garden right I mean heck it's getting colder out and you want to throw some straw and some leaves in your garden and you know what just go for it right the only thing it's gonna do is help your roots out and roots are literally the most important piece to your plants you got to protect them so I think this is a great time to come out with this video. You know what? I wish I came out with this video earlier, especially with the winter coming. And maybe some of you guys are struggling with the colder temps, but mulching your soil is super important that I feel like a lot of people just straight up don't cover, so I'm covering it now. And I know some of you guys are complaining about the colder temperatures. Well, you know what? This is definitely going to help your plants out in the long run, especially if you plan on growing in these harsh winter months that are coming. And also on a side note, if you got questions about your garden, you just want to hit me up. Our link to our Instagram will be in the description below and also let me know in the comment section below if you've done any mulching I'm just kind of curious about that sort of thing so I'm gonna close off today's video be sure to drop a fat thumbs up drop that fat like and subscribe for more content I hope everybody has a great weekend I'll see you guys on Tuesday and as always stay safe peace